You, your use of music is by this time legendary. Wow, thanks. For example, the song Stuck in the Middle with You is synonymous with Reservoir yeah. Dog. How do you select this music? It's a big part of what I do, and I, I think it's a, um, it's a big part of the, the, the fun of modern movies, of modern cinema. And when I say modern, I mean uh, to some degree starting with uh, Rock Around the Clock Plate and a Blackboard Chumming a little bit more normal, and now it's very normal, is to have uh, uh, modern pop songs in your, uh, uh, in your films. And not only are they in them, like you kind of cut the scenes uh, to them. When you do it right, and the music and the movie kind of goes in sync with each other, for a sequence or so, it's just kind of like you're flying or you're skating or something, and those are always just like the fun, the some of the funnest parts to watch with an audience because they're really engaged. I mean, mm -hmm. in, in the days before video, I would go and see a movie three times at the theaters, basically because of one scene, and oftentimes that scene was like they used the song really well. Right. But the only way to really you're really going to get it is to go back to the <laughs> home theater and watch the whole movie again for that one sequence, and I was happy to do that. How I end up doing it my own, I have a, a record room in my house because I'm a big vinyl guy. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And um, I have a room that's almost like a little used record store. It's in bins and it's broken down by genres and subgenres, as per usual. And, um, and part of my thing when I'm coming up with an idea is to go through that record room and go through those records and to kind of find the music or the personality of a given movie. It's like I'm, f I'm looking for the rhythm that this movie needs to play in. I'm looking for the spirit and the rhythm that this movie needs to play in. But that really helps me sink my hooks into, oh, hey, maybe I maybe we'll make this. And it keeps uh, uh, encouraging me. If I've like been writing for six hours and uh, I need to get invigorated again, then if I know I'm going to use a couple of sequences and I think I know how I'm going to use it, then I just play those songs and I imagine I'm in a movie theater and I'm imagining a bunch of people are sitting there watching it and I'm imagining <laughs> they're being affected in a positive way by what they're seeing on screen. And I can literally, I can, I, I just pace around the room and I play the music and I kind of close my eyes and sometimes I don't even have to close my eyes and I can see the shots just play out in front of each other and I feel myself like I'm, uh, that I'm, I'm in the Cinerama Dome or I'm in the Palais of the, of, uh, uh, the, the uh, Cannes Film Festival, the Grand Palais and, and I'm surrounded by people and they're all loving it. <laughs> And now, That's do an you play part. this for the actors to get them motivated for the film? Not often, not often. That's a, it's a it's a real pretty private private thing. Uh, I give them little glimpses here and there, but for the most part, I actually rather uh, unless I'm using the music in in the scene itself proper, uh, I'd rather the actors just kind of experience it all when they watch the finished movie. But I'll do something at the same time though. I'll uh, if it takes place in a time that that would this would be applicable. I could make a tape uh, that your character would listen to. If, you're, if your character mm -hmm. had a little mixtape of music that they liked, I could make a mixtape that your character would have made and then you can listen to. And this is stuff that your character responds to. I likes. see. Play a little Johnny Cash or yeah. uh, uh, Frank Sinatra or whatever the character would have been. Absolutely. Listening. Interesting.